Burnaby, Deer Lake. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, Raymond uh, Salmon was lost beneath the waters of Harrison Lake on June 7th of this year. Police told his widow, Daniela, they know pretty well precisely where the body is. Unfortunately, uh, the police say they have no mandate to recover his body, nor does the coroner's service. BC Hydro has technology that could help in recovery efforts, but they also say they have no mandate to get involved. In the last three months alone, five people have been lost between, beneath BC waters, but it turns out families who want to recover their loved ones are left to rely on charity from outside our province. My question is to the Minister of Public Safety. Will the government work with the RCMP, the coroner's office, or whatever agency is appropriate to address this serious gap in services? Minister of Justice. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And this is a tragic case, and I would like to express my condolences, and I'm sure everyone's condolences to the families of this, uh, these victims and also the other victims by drowning in British Columbia this year. And um, many of us will, have, will know that um, there have been many drownings this year. And I would just like to say on, on behalf of public safety, which is that people swimming in British Columbia waters do need to be careful. We do have treacherous waters. There are undertows, there are currents, there are rocks that kids dive off. There are many ways that people drown in our BC waters. And um, I would like to just caution swimmers and boaters and people who are particularly not used to being around the water that they do need to be careful. On the specifics of this case, it was a, a tragic case. The police um, did what they could to find the body, I, I'm told, um, but th they failed. Um, and whether they did the right thing or not, of course, we are always working with the police, but the police do make the operational decisions. This is in the hands of the coroner, Madam Speaker. I'll be looking forward to hearing from the coroner on the issue, and because it is in the hands of the cor coroner, I am not going to make any more public statements about the specifics of the case, but I would, as I said, like to caution people, caution everyone to be careful in our BC waters. Thank you. Going to be Deer Lake on a supplemental. Yes, thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, I certainly understand that people uh, do need to be careful in the water in the in the summertime, but unfortunately, there are several families um, that have been unable to recover the bodies of their loved ones, and they are asking for help. And help is available if the if the government is willing to provide it. Daniela was hoping that a couple from Idaho, the Ralstons, who specialize in these kind of recoveries, and do their work at cost, could help. Her. Unfortunately, after successfully recovering the bodies of two young boys who were lost in Nicolo Lake, finding a long missing body in Francois Lake while they unsuccessfully searched for said uh, a Sid Neville, a Burns Lake resident uh, at Francois Lake, the Ralstons had to return to the United States for a medical appointment before they could bring Raymond home. Danielle is just looking for help, but she is uh, losing hope that she's ever going to be able to have her bo husband's body recovered. So my question, I'm asking the minister and this government on behalf of Daniela and the other families, the other families who have lost members, their loved ones, in, in tragic accidents like this, will this government please help? The technology is there, the ability is there. Will this government please help these people recover their lo loved ones and bring them home so that they can have some closure? Minister of Justice. <laughs> Madam Speaker, uh, the operational decisions as to searches are made by the RCMP, and as Minister of Public Safety, I do not get in the middle of those operational decisions. I am, as I said, of course, as we all are in this House, extremely sympathetic to the families of the victims of drowning in BC waters this summer. Um, the, but as to the specifics of each of these cases, I can't comment on them. They, um, there may be risk to teams who are doing the searches. We don't know the individual circumstances of these cases. I do uh, uh, have great confidence in the RCMP and the operational decisions that they make. Um, I'm not going to try and second guess those decisions here in this house. And I would just once again like to express my condolences and the condolences of this house to the families who have, are suffering fr from the drowning of their loved ones in uh, BC this year. Thank you. 